Dennis Prager joins me tonight. Sir, it's good to have you back on the show. Um, th there's nothing racist about this cartoon. It's the same tactic they always use. They scream racist when they see a truth they can't handle. And this time it worked again. I actually read to my listeners in my radio show today the letters to the editor that the Washington Post printed in order to explain why they took this quote-unquote racist post down. This Ramirez cartoon, he's terrific, Ramirez, uh, the cartoonist. This cartoon is so accurate that it is another example of the war of the left, not of liberals, but of the left, is truly with reality. Men, men menstruate is as accurate as this is racist. It's a make-believe world. The cartoon is accurate. That's what they do. They hide behind children. What is inaccurate and what does it have to do with race? Half of Israel is the same race as the Palestinians. They are indistinguishable racially. The idea is just another enormous lie. And they apologize. I mean, how, how pitiful. That's right. How, they how apologize. How pitiful they are. Yes. Uh, you know, it, it's very clear that, that Biden is feeling the pressure from uh, his far left flank, which has controlled most of his policy decisions, let's be honest. What do, you, what do you think the position of this country is? It's been a month. What do you think our position looks like in another month? I'm wondering how much distance they're going to put between themselves. I mean, they're, they're getting a lot of heat. And we've got a, we've got a protest tonight, sir, in, in New York. That's, that's, here's some new video that just came in. This is thousands of people in Columbus uh, Circle uh, near the Upper West Side on the west side of Manhattan. Thousands of people screaming in protest of Israel right. in favor of, of Hamas and Palestine. This is about as good an example of the moral decline that I have witnessed in my lifetime in America. There was such an understanding in the United States that Israel, a country the size of New Jersey, the only Jewish state in the world, there is, is in the midst of 22 Arab states from the Atlantic Ocean to the Indian Ocean. But there's no room for this one. People in America understood this is nothing but a desire to exterminate the Jewish state. There is no other issue yeah. involved here. Is anybody protesting Pakistan's existence? Do people know that exponentially more people died when Pakistan was wrenched out of India and created a new. Israel is not a new. There were two other Israels prior to this. Pakistan is brand new. Mm -hmm. And vast numbers of Hindus and Muslims were slaughtered and raped. There's nothing about Pakistan's existence that bothers anybody. Because the truth is, in the Arab world, they don't care about Arab deaths. They didn't care how many Assad killed. They didn't care how many were killed in the creation of Pakistan. They didn't care about when East Pakistan became Bangladesh and the staggering slaughter of fellow Muslims. They only care about exterminating the Jewish state. Right. That is the only passion in the Arab world. Right. And for and those in the West the that keep screaming this. And on this, the left, yeah. that supports them. Yeah. And, and on the left, we should say, in the Western left, the only agenda is anything that, that rips apart the West as it is. That is uh, correct. And helps implement a, yes. this, this new agenda that they want to do. And they'll use any faction, any, anything that they can think of to get to that. They will, they'll become a part of that, like you're seeing right now. This is BLM Antifa, and all of a sudden they care about uh, the Palestinians because it's going to help them to their goal. Um, as the head of PragerU, I thought you'd appreciate this story. Columbia here in New York very, very radically left school, has suspended two far-left anti-Israel groups, shockingly. Students for Justice in Palestine and Jewish Voice for Peace have uh, both been suspended through the end of the fall term over their threatening, very anti-Semitic rhetoric, rhetoric that we've seen, intimidation tactics on, cap, on campus. You know, uh, that campus has been hideous and pitiful since this all started. It looks like Columbia might be feeling the pressure after their big donors and their alums have started pulling the donations is what it feels like to me. You've had Leon Cooperman, who's given 50 million to that university over the years, saying, I'm done. Uh, and if one thing talks uh, with these schools, it is money. Well, Leon Cooperman, bless him, but he was a fool for giving $50 million. Yeah. The, I, I went to Columbia. I will be speaking there in a couple of weeks. Columbia, like 
every major university in the country is a moral cesspool. Mm -hmm. To have given $50 million while it taught children that America is a despicable country, that was okay. He is finally waking up. Look, I welcome him to the world of the awakened, not, well, the, so not the woke. Yeah. I do welcome him, but it is, it is astonishing how for decades such such awful ideas, such perverse notions have been taught at Columbia and Harvard and UCLA, and you, you name the university. Yep. That was okay. Yeah. Where have they where have they been this whole time? How how did it take where this long have exactly they been? to That's wake up? Right. And I'm I'm shocked. They're gonna let you speak at, at Columbia? They're 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 gonna let you walk we'll in? We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> we'll cover it either way. Dennis Prager, thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Your pleasure.